We are so sorry, Japan. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 worst changes in Dragon Ball Evolution. For this list, we'll be going over the worst changes made to the cinematic atrocity that is Dragon Ball Evolution when adapting it from its legendary source material. As always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10, Mai. In the original Dragon Ball, Mai is a henchwoman for the gag villain Emperor Pilaf, often acting as the straight woman for his comedic bumbling, though she's pretty goofy herself. <laughs> Dragon Ball Evolution, meanwhile, turns her into the servant of Piccolo instead, even giving her the power to shapeshift for some inexplicable reason. <laughs> Granted, she does briefly serve King Piccolo in the anime, but if they were going to use her name, and rough appearance, but nothing else about her, then why bother? That's like trying to turn Jesse from Team Rocket into a generic henchwoman without James or Meowth. The Dragon Ball is mine. <laughs> Number 9. Grandpa Gohan's Death. First one to touch the ground. Losers. The demise of Gohan, Goku's adoptive grandfather, forever made an impact on the young Saiyan. He names his son after Gohan after all. Not only does this death occur before the series starts, but Goku is also the one responsible for it, having accidentally crushed his gramps while he transformed into his Uzaru form during a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> I will have the Dragon Ball, old man. Having Gohan being killed by Piccolo isn't only inaccurate and removes so much of the critical character drama, but Goku barely seems to care that he's dead. Certainly not enough for him to use his wish to bring him back to life. Piccolo has returned. He's after the Dragon Ball. Is it safe? Number 8. Bulma the Badass. Where is it? I know it's here. Are you Piccolo? Did you kill my grandfather? Look, we're not saying that the original Bulma isn't a badass, at least in her own way. She's intelligent and resourceful, and has stood up to beings who are way more powerful than she is. Though, granted, it takes her a while to get there. But the Dragon Ball Evolution version tries way too hard to be more of an action girl archetype. While it's understandable that the filmmakers would want her to be more proactive by shoving Bulma into a role that doesn't fit her character, she loses that quirky charm that makes her who she is. I'm getting a strong signal from a Dragon Ball only three miles ahead. She doesn't need to dual wield to be important or cool. Number 7. Piccolo Lives The villain of the tail end of the original Dragon Ball, the Hollywood adaptation changed plenty about his backstory, completely erased all of his musical instrument themed children, but one of the biggest changes is his death, or lack thereof. I'm glad to have you join me. You will bear witness to my glory when I compel Shen Long to grant me the power to rule this diseased rock. In his final confrontation with Goku in the anime, Piccolo is straight up killed by the young martial artist. <laughs> Granted, we can see how adapting the part where the villain spits out an egg from his mouth containing his son, who is also his reincarnation, might be tough for theatre goers to swallow. But having the alien get patched up by a random lady he spared is far less interesting. Number 6. The Dragon Balls So Dragon Ball Evolution got the Dragon Balls wrong. No big deal, it's not like they're in the title or anything. Also, Dragon Ball, two words, not one. Is yours. What is it? It's a Dragon Ball. Sushinchu means four stars. In all the world, there are only six others. Their whole backstory has changed in the movie. Instead of being the creation of Kami, Piccolo's good half, the film instead opts for a vague and confusing backstory of having them be crafted by seven sages who also sealed Piccolo away, or something. A group of brave warriors created the Mafuba, 
a powerful enchantment that imprisoned Piccolo deep within the earth. They also briefly show Goku future events, which they shouldn't be able to do. Oh, and Bulma calls them Promethean Orbs for some reason. I compel you to come forth and grant my wish! Number 5. The Setting The world of Dragon Ball Evolution just feels wrong. And we don't just mean the fact that Goku attends high school, though that bugs us too. Where are the dinosaurs, or the flying clouds, or the talking animals? Granted, if those were too expensive to implement, the whole tone of the setting feels off, like it's drawn from another property instead. They could at least have tried to for the pseudo-futuristic, timeless look that the world of Dragon Ball has. As it is, Dragon Ball Evolution feels like a cross between present day and a second-class Mortal Kombat. Number 4. No Krillin For as much of this flick gets wrong, it does contain most of the characters from the series, in name only at least. Although there's one notable exception, Krillin. Goku's longtime best friend and early training buddy is absent entirely from the movie. <sighs> the bold, diminutive fellow is a welcome source of comedic relief throughout the franchise. And Dragon Ball Evolution could certainly have used more humor. Do you have a Dragon Ball? Bikini Quarterly? We could see leaving him if they were pressed for time or didn't have any extraneous characters, but come on! They left Yamcha in! Yamcha! Whoa! Need any help down there? Number 3. Uzaru Werewolf Sure, the Uzaru or Great Ape transformation has always been pretty much the Dragon Ball equivalent of a werewolf, but Dragon Ball Evolution really heightens the similarity with its alterations to ridiculous degrees, namely the size. Uzaru disappeared, and balance was slowly restored to our world. Goku's transformation into the demonic primate is on a much smaller scale in the movie. So much so that he looks like a gorilla crossed with a wolf man. You serve me. Goku, no! I don't think Goku's there anymore. In addition, its origins are far more convoluted, with Uzaru being a god who aids Piccolo in World Conquest only for it to somehow bond with Goku after he becomes an adult, instead of being part of Goku's biology. Plus, it only appears during an eclipse, instead of a full moon, just to tick off the hardcore fans. Osaru can be beaten with fists. Only with faith can you win. Number 2. The Kamehameha the signature technique of Goku and Master Roshi, the Kamehameha is as identifiable with the franchise as Goku or the Dragon Balls. Naturally, Dragon Ball Evolution managed to get it completely wrong. In the film, the technique is referred to as being a component of airbending, like it's our freaking avatar. What? It's also used for healing on one occasion, which is beyond stupid. Ha! Ah! Ah! There's also the fact that it just looks terrible, resembling a cloud of gas instead of the powerful beam of destruction that everyone who even remotely knows a thing about Dragon Ball would recognize. Again! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Goku. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. <laughs> so many of the faults of Dragon Ball Evolution could have been easier to deal with if the protagonist was likeable and at least somewhat accurate. Sadly, this was not the case. 
Instead of an otherworldly little boy with a tail obsessed with martial arts, this vision of Goku is a normal human teenager obsessed with girls and being popular at school. Oh, my car. Nice swing, good form. Close one. Rather than the happy-go-lucky innocent Saiyan we all love, we were saddled with a whiny, brooding, unfunny knockoff who couldn't ride the Nimbus if he tried. Truly the first and final nail in this film's coffin. No offense to Justin Chatwin. Wow! <laughs> hey Goku, what are you doing here? I, I was just about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> Walk with me? Yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.